Hey, what's up guys, it's Another One Pred here, and today what I'll be bringing you guys is another DNA bomb. This is day number four of my Christmas DNA bomb series, the 25 DNA bombs of Christmas. And hopefully you guys are well today and are looking forward to today's video. Uh, the gameplay we'll be watching in the background is a Diamond Bow DNA bomb on the map Terrace. I don't think you've seen a DNA bomb on Terrace from me as of yet. So uh, this will be the first one as that kid just got absolutely destroyed. Um, so hopefully you guys do enjoy the gameplay in the background. But uh, today what I want to talk to you guys about is actually a life story. And a lot of people wanted me to, when I asked that question, is what they, they wanted me to you know, talk about was stuff that's happened to me in my life, past events, what not. And uh, I know this one's, I don't know how people are going to react to this one, but it's a time where I thought my house was haunted. And um, literally it was pretty weird and coincidental, everything that happened in the house. So I'm going to quickly, before I jump into it, ask you guys the next question for to tomorrow's um, video is what's important to you in life? I know it's not related to the accomplished topic, but I just want you guys to answer that. What is the most important thing? to you in life and I don't care what it is you can say your mom you can say your say your I don't know light or whatever I don't know but um just just let me know I just want to I'm interested so um yeah without further ado let's jump straight into the accomplished topic so this happened when I was about let's think back I was in year seven so no year eight so I was about 12 11 12 and um I literally thought the house was haunted and when I was that age, I used to, you know, react really sensitively to different things, such as the reason why I thought my house was haunted is because I watched a film called Paranormal Activity. I'm not sure if you guys have watched that, but um, it's basically about people setting up cameras and filming up, um, uh, sorry, taking films of weird events happening in the house. And uh, I, like, looking at it now, I mean, I laugh at films like that now. I don't really care. But back in, you know, this was about almost six years ago, um, I was kind of, you know, worried and I took took things to heart quite easily. So I remember watching it and there was one bit at the end, I think it was the, f it was the first film, sorry. And I watched the first film, there's an end where there's like a weird ass sort of modified demon face. And, you know, as I said, I react to things sensitively. So I went to bed literally having to keep the light on because of that. And uh, ever since then, and uh, obviously it stopped now, stopped ages ago, but ever since then, for about a few months actually, I used to always get weird, weird sort of like banging noises, and uh, so it seemed, I don't know if I was paranoid or not, but I used to hear like banging on my door, and I used to go out and see what it was, obviously nothing was there, and as soon as I went in the room one time, one of the nights actually, a uh, glass fell off the edge of the, of like the counter, um, next to the dishwasher. I don't know whether it was on the edge or not, probably me putting it clumsily on the edge, but I don't know. But it fell off and it smashed, and this was like midnight when I heard you know, the noise and I woke up and whatnot. And uh, I, I kind of shut myself and I couldn't be asked to go clean out because I, I was too scared. And I just literally kept the pillow over my head and put my headphones in and listened to the radio on my old Samsung Toco, oh, the Toco Lite or whatever it was pretty shit phone but back in the day it was all right I used to listen to the radio on that and just keep my headphones in because I was literally scared and um, what my mum did for me um, I asked her she I was saying that I wanted the lights on but she obviously she didn't want to waste electricity and whatnot because obviously uh, if I was to get the light that I have in my room right now is really really bright and it would take up a lot of electricity so I didn't want to waste it all so she actually got a sort of dimmer light installed for me and that's kind of what babies have in a sense because it's quite embarrassing thinking of it that way but yeah babies tend to have like those sort of night lights but I had one installed on the ceiling so, and the, the switch on the uh, wall turned into like a two way mode one which was the normal mode which was the bright light and one which was the dim light and I used to have that and oh, I was really really bad and I used to shit myself a lot another thing that happened actually was when the light actually cut out and that's when I <laughs> I shat myself literally literally shat myself went into the toilet shat myself in the toilet and shat on the toilet it was really really bad I don't know why I sound like an absolute twat uh, listening back to it and looking back at how I reacted but it is where it is 
So uh, yeah guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this story. Make sure to answer that question I asked earlier in the comment section down below. Also don't forget to drop that like down below as well. Have an awesome day guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.